Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today I've just got a small Yu-Gi-Oh opening of some Rage of the Abyss stuff. First of all, starting off with this. This is one copy of Heart of the Blue Eyes for the Millennium deck. I've been keeping an eye on this because it really screams £5 secret rare to me. So I've been waiting for the price to go down and I just happened to come across one on card market one night for £3. So £3.85 in total. And there it is, Heart of the Blue Eyes. These are currently sitting at around £7.50 on eBay and around 10 on card market which is uh interesting but yeah like i say i've just been keeping an eye on it and then just happened to come across it one copy of it for four pounds now what is that you guys can see this right like here around the top like what is it it's some kind of i don't know if i hold it like this like flat, there's nothing going through the name, but it looks like there's like a, a slash or something there. Puts a little bit of a downer on it, but still, you know, it was cheap. It is what it is. You know, this isn't the first time that uh, I've came across a brand new secret rare on card market that's a little bit messed up. A friend of mine actually physically gave me a copy of Future Silence because it was jacked up. Okay. A bit, a bit, a bit, a bit of a shame, but we got a cheap. We got a cheap. It kind of just negates the cheap, but yeah, we're continuing the hunt for like two more copies of this. Such an important card in the deck to search Millennium Ankh for free. No more games theoretically where we have to start off by losing two K or even four K just to get the ball rolling. And this other stuff from Rage of the Abyss is the Metal Morph archetype stuff, which I completely forgot was in the set. And I'm so excited for it now. I'm actually way more excited for it than I thought I would be. I thought it would be the kind of thing where I'm like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a go at some stage probably. And then uh, I just went crazy for it last week. I'm, I'm having to like full on rip the envelope open here because the uh, post stick is over the top. So I did get some stuff for it already from locals last week. My handyman on the inside who picked this stuff up for me. So we got one copy of Metal Zoa X, uh, three copies of Zoe the Fiendish Beast, three copies of Max Metal, For Met Metal Force? Max Met well, I guess it was called that in the anime, but I've never called it that. Max Metal Morph. Three copies of Time Engine. Beautiful. And then we have, like, a lot of other stuff. Xe Sharks, Generic Fish, Allure Queen. Uh, in the new insect, labyrinth wall shadow in uh, ultra, you know, insect, insect, abyss, water, wet stuff, yep, wet stuff, yep, insects, yep, all that kind of stuff. So, thank you very much if you are watching Wingy for that one. I also dug out three copies of Mikazuki no Yaiba the Moon Fan Dragon. This is pretty good in the deck. You basically, you know, as you as you might infer from what the two cards do you basically special summon this during your end phase and then metal morph it during your opponent's uh, draw phase it doesn't really get much better than that i did an opening on on legacy of destruction and have about 11 copies of this so yeah i thought you know enthusiastic dig out of those put some use to them which is really cool because it's nice to not have to buy commons or dive back into the commons at locals etc but yeah so what we got is basically everything else. Now I got these on card market as well. £8.25 for the whole lot, which I was very happy with considering all the single sites and eBay had red eyes full uh, red eyes black full metal dragon for like four pounds each. Getting the whole deck for £8.25 was very much appreciated. So there is a lot of tape on these things. He's even taped down the sleeve. So, first of all, we have Metal Illusionist. The best card in the deck, really. Like, you know, you just play this and you go, okay, pass. And then you Metal Morph it. If it's normal or special summoned, you can set one Metal Morph trap from your deck. If Max Metal Morph is in your graveyard, you draw one card. You can declare one monster type. This card's type becomes that type until the end of your opponent's turn. And its level goes up by four during your opponent's turn. So, normal summon, set Metal Morph. Declare dragon, fiend, whatever, warrior, whoever you want. Pass turn, draw phase, metal morph, this. Get your red eyes out, get your Zora out, whatever you want. Uh, we've got three copies of Incoming Machine. Now, I didn't actually see this card. I didn't see this previewed. I didn't see this until it came out. 
Add one monster that mentions Max Metal Morph or one Metal Morph Trap from your deck to your hand. If you control a Metal Morph Trap, you can banish this card from your grave, target one defense position monster your opponent controls, change it to face up attack position. We've got the really cool artwork there with Metal Zoa sort of looming over Axe Raider. It's nice to see Axe Raider back on card arts. Where's the Axe Raider retrain from all the uh, Joy stuff, you know? And then, of course, in the final sleeve, we have the main event. We have, a tape wants to pop open. We have three copies of Red Eyes Black Full Metal Dragon. Badass artwork, beautiful artwork, beautiful redo of Black Metal Dragon. Really good card, you know, reveal it in hand set, Metal Morph from deck and shovel this back in. And when it's on the field, it can negate a card or effect and then inflict damage to your opponent equal to the attack of one attack position monster your opponent controls, you know. It's, uh, it's really good, it's really good. So we've got three copies of that. We probably won't play three copies, but you know, it's it's always better to be safe. And apparently I picked oh yeah, I did I picked up three copies of Metal Zo X literally just because of this one spot here. I you know, I I I remembered it being more the more damaged than that, but actually it's pretty good. So yeah, we ordered three copies of that. Again, we won't play three copies, but it's better to be safe than sorry. Not as good, more of a disrupt, not a negate or anything. But it is twice per turn, so it does have some benefits over Red Eyes, especially if you already have Red Eyes out, if you can get both out. Now, it's a pretty cool deck. It's pretty linear. I think I more or less have everything I need for it. Just need to put it together this afternoon before we uh, get together and have some games tonight. I'm interested in trying out a build that runs uh, Fusion Deployment and then Meteor Black Dragon in the extra deck, just because I love Meteor Black Dragon. Obviously, we've got Meteor Dragon and Red Eyes as targets for Red Eyes Black Full Metal Dragon. However, a better idea is to do exactly the same thing with Black Skull Dragon, and then you have Red Eyes and Summon Skull for Zoa. Works out pretty well. I just don't think it's as cool as Meteor Dragon, and whenever I do anything like that in a deck, I do run one copy of Polymerization, just on the off chance. You can always go into Guiding Chimera instead. I do have a few gripes with the archetype. For example, you know, in this... In this day and age, I feel like Metal Morph could be a little bit more generic. I feel like it would be better if it worked in the way that the original did, and it was actually the monster that summoned itself from the Metal Morph being equipped. The fact that the trap effect is to tribute the Facebook monster and then special summon one, one monster that cannot be normal summoned or set and mentions Max Metal Morph from your hand deck or GY, which, by the way, is one of my favourite pieces of bad Konami wording. Well, not bad wording, but, you know, wordy wording. Um, special summon one Metal Morph monster, etc., etc. You know, I think it would be better if the, it just had the, the regular kind of Metal Morph effect and these guys special summon themselves and then equip the trap. But I guess that would be a little bit more janky. Uh, there are a few other things that I kind of, you know, I'm, I'm kind of not super happy about. You know, it's stuff like that, like... But, yeah, once you put, like, the negate on the red eyes and you also have the spell and monster effect protection from Max Metal Morph, you know, you're, you're making a pretty cool, like, helmet there. So, yeah, it's it's definitely interesting. There's definitely pros and cons to it. The real downside, the real disappointment is whatever is going on with the heart of the blue eyes, but, you know, it is what it is. You could argue maybe that's why you put the price so low, but it didn't say anything about the condition in the description, so... Yeah, I don't know. He's uh might have might have forgot to do that, I suppose. But yeah, not great. Anyway, that's everything for this video. If you enjoyed it, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the DSW tabletop playlist in the end screen for more Yu-Gi-Oh videos and indeed Yu-Gi-Oh mail openings. And I really do appreciate you guys joining me. So thank you all for watching and goodbye.